Welcome to Next Level Tech. Riding a bike is rapidly becoming one of the most popular ways to commute in the world. It's part environmental concern, part get fit craze, and part looking smugly at your coworkers as they wait for the bus. And as cities like London discover their bike lanes clogged full with people pedaling to get to work on time, bikes are getting more and more high tech. With so many devices on the market claiming to improve your biking experience, it's also hard to know which ones are worth the investment. In this video, we'll talk about seven amazing bike inventions you must see. Number seven, Helix. The Helix is a light, very small and foldable bicycle, which is also very sturdy, owning to its titanium build. It is a highly portable, compact bicycle, which is the creation of a Canadian cyclist enthusiast, Peter Boutakis. Peter is a professional software developer and machinist, but his passion is cycling. The Helix is meant for those cycling fanatics who do not wish to leave their bike behind at home and wish to carry them on all their traveling destinations. The bicycle is extremely lightweight and weighs just 9.5 kilograms as compared against an average bike that is around 14 kilograms. The advent of the portable and folding bicycles are not something very recent, but these folding bikes are not as portable and sturdy as the highly advanced titanium made Helix. The Helix becomes extremely compact as well in its folded form and can fit into your regular suitcase or in the car's boot space along with other luggage. Number 6. Moar Most cheap e-bikes are made with low quality components requiring immediate upgrades with expensive aftermarket accessories. And most expensive e-bikes are loaded with pricey components that the average consumer doesn't need or won't notice in day-to-day -day life. Moar has been carefully engineered as a solution to the very cheap and very expensive e-bikes that are currently on the market. It is a complete folding frame, full suspension electric bicycle with 85 mile range, 750 watt motor, 48 volt lithium ion battery, waterproof electronics, projection headlights, turn signals, brake lights and more. Moar has created e-bike models with carefully selected premium components to fit common uses with no unneeded extras and no upgrades required. Number 5. Joystick Bike Any bike relies on handlebars for steering while driving, but the joystick recumbent bike is different. This bike doesn't have the typical handlebars. Instead, it has a right-hand joystick. This means that riding the joystick bike is more along the lines of playing your favorite video game. To drive the joystick bike, the rider simply wraps his finger around the joystick on the right-hand side and moves it left or right to steer the front wheel thanks to a mechanical connection. There is a second handle on the left-hand side and this is for gear shifting along with electric motor control and controlling the casters on the wheels all of which help with stability when the bike is stopped. However, it is possible that these functions could be added to the joystick and this could do away with the left handle. The bike is recumbent, that is electrically assisted, and has a 400 watt electric drive on the back along with a 72 volt battery pack. It can travel at speeds of as much as 37 miles per hour and has a range of 25 miles Number four, the Stinson. The Stinson brings a new level of comfort and control to your ride. It is a comfortable and affordable city bike from Marin. 
This urban bike has a lightweight aluminum frame, 27.5 inch wheels, and a durable Shimano drivetrain. The Stinson has a lightweight Series 1 aluminum frame, ergonomic handlebar, adjustable stem, plush elastomer sprung saddle, and versatile high volume 27.5 inch tires with mixed tread for control on a variety of surfaces. Number 3. Go Cycle The first Go Cycle electric bike, the G1, was launched in 2009 by Richard Thorpe, a former design engineer for McLaren Cars. What if a folding bike was comfortable enough to ride sweat-free over long distances, but still flexible enough to take on a train when it rains? That's where the fast folding Go Cycle GX e-bike comes in. The company now offers three variations on the same electric theme. The GX benefits from an intuitive folding mechanism, especially when compared to the Fiddly Brompton Electric. Lifting two reassuredly chunky quick-release latches allows the bike to fold in thirds. Then a rather elegant rubber band must be awkwardly stretched into place to hold the collapsed components together. Once secured, the bike is now in trolley mode, allowing you to easily push it by the saddle into an elevator, down the office corridor, or onto a train. Number 2. Delfast Delfast comes with a start-stop button, high-intensity headlight, turn signals up front, and at the back too, it has turn signals, running lights, automatic brake lights. Besides these, Delfast e-bikes comes with a GPS tracking, remote start, Bluetooth connectivity, and an alarm. Delfast e-bike broke the world record for the longest distance covered on one full charge. It did 368 kilometers in 17 hours without having to charge in between. Delfast is now promising its buyers a range of 379 kilometers of range on one full charge. Number 1. Bell Cycle The Bell Cycle, which is the brainchild of Alex Bell, a cyclist in New York City, is completely different from just about any other bike out there. Except for perhaps the penny farthing and its compact design, modular nature, and distinctive riding style, are a fresh take on bicycle design. It's not only the configuration of the bike that is different, it's the idea behind it that really stands out. With a totally unique upright riding position, front wheel drive and the ability to assemble it in different configurations, the bell cycle might just be weird enough to catch on. Hope you enjoyed the video. Which one did you like the most? Let us know in the comments. 
If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. See you in the next video.